awakening and a corporate church awakening if we're going to impact the soul of a generation, a community, a city, a state, or a nation. And I believe that's what we are even more so today. But I believe that God, the lion that is roaring, is roaring so that we as the eagles will take flight. Amen. Yes. And one thing I realized during that time in 2015, I still traveled. I never stopped. And every time I went to MD Anderson and every doctor, every nurse, every technician from all over the world, whenever they came to put a needle in me or to try to draw blood, whatever they did, they were not allowed to touch me until I first prayed with them. And then we began to notice that I had a, a great support base. In all of my difficulty, there was a whole lot of other people that had more need than I did. Because I knew who I am, and I know who is in me, and I know where I'm going, and I'm on the edge of eternity. So regardless of what time I have, one day or a hundred more years, I knew who I belonged to. And so we began to be intentional finding people. They didn't have the support base that we did. And it began to open so many doors of opportunity. I lost all my hair, but I kept on traveling. I kept working out at the gym. I love to work out. And people come up and say, dude, you got cancer? Because I have a kick line hanging out. And they notice I went from hair to no hair and losing weight. And, but I'm still pumping those weights. And I had people that, young people, like three times as young as me, to 